So this is a quick tutorial for uh, writers who are interested in using Leo on Linux. Uh, it's a fabulous outliner. It's uh, designed as a programmer's editor. Um, we'll get right into it. This is a node. Uh, we're going to create it to uh, use uh, the restructured text. So it's an RST node. And we're giving it the path to the file name right in the node itself. Um, once we've assigned it uh, a file name uh, ending in HTML, we're going to use uh, docutils to create an HTML file, and then we're going to use pandoc to import it into OpenOffice, or LibreOffice actually. So this is a standard RST markup. We're creating a, a headline. Uh, use uh, the hash symbol above and below, whatever you would like as your headline. And then we're just going to type in some text. Um, so just give us something to, to work with when we're uh, doing the examples. Um, there's a plugin for uh, Leo that uh, is designed to mark up uh, bold and italic using the standard Control B and Control I keys that uh, most writers are familiar with. And it works both ways. You can uh, highlight the, the word and uh, then apply the the bolding or the italicizing. Um, now we're a quick example of numbered lists. You can also do bulleted lists. You can also assign it so that it can do the numbers automatically for you. Um, interesting feature of Leo is that you can do the markup in the edit window and you can also um, view what's going on in what's called the view rendered pane. Um, just going to get that set up here. We're uh, finish off the, the bit of text that we're going to use, and we're going to load the view rendered plugin. And uh, now I'm going to create a new node. Um, we'll start with some chapters, perhaps. Let's we'll see where we go from there. Uh, let's start with chapter one, and just type that right into the the node. Whatever you put into the nodes will become the section title for the whatever text you put into the body pane, which is the light pinkish area. You'll see how the uh, view rendered pane works here in a second. It's the white area on the far right. Um, we're just going to type in some text. And let's start our story. Uh, once upon a time, there was a big crazy fire bird and then over in chapter 2 we'll just pump something in there as well um, the primary reason that I'm so excited about uh, using Leo for writing is the ability to use cloning in an outline um, this is a, an extremely powerful workflow tool for anyone. Uh, um, apparently it's uh, fabulous for programming, um, but I immediately saw the potential benefits for people who write fiction, non-fiction, um, organize thoughts, just um, in, adds a, a level of flexibility that just simply is not available in your normal outliners. Um, what I've done is I've created a ignore node. So basically when we do run the restructured text utility of the command, it's not going to ignore whatever I type into this, no this node. Uh, you use it for things like, in, in fiction it would be obvious to use it for things like uh, setting or character notes. Here's uh, going to create a couple of clones. Let's attach one to chapter 1, one to chapter 2. Just use the uh, shortcuts, uh, Control R, to move the uh, nodes to the right, become children of the, the their parent. Um, so basically, the information now is is available when you're working on chapter two. It's right there. Uh, but let's say halfway through the story, you decide, well, I'm going to change it to yellow squares and I'm going to make sure that that gets updated everywhere. Oh, but look, you change the clone node. It changes all of the clones the content is updated dynamically across uh, the entire outline. Um, you can delete these, um, you can recreate them, you 
can uh, copy them, you can clone them. Uh, whenever you actually delete the last clone, it uh, makes the, the original or, or any of the existing clones the one that stands. So there's an example of how the, uh, the everything in this part works. Um, you look down here, we've saved the, the Leo file itself. Now we've ran the uh, RST, the restructured text command to actually create the restructured text output into this uh, test output HTML file. A little bit of command line dancing to uh, get Pandoc to convert. Um, the HTML file that DocuTils creates uh, won't import cleanly into uh, OpenOffice and when I uh, use DocuTils to convert uh, the raw restructured text to ODT format, I'm left with a bit of artifacting, so I've, I've found that Pandoc actually does a, a fairly good job directly on the HTML file um, and directly convert it straight to ODT. Um, <laughs> attempting to start it from the command line, apparently I need to read up on how to do that. Uh, but we can simply go down and open LibreOffice and we will um, open the file and I can show you the output. And you can see that uh, it opens up and gives you a nice clean file um, ready to, you know, for final tweaking and uh, converting to docx or whatever it is you need to do from there. Uh, going back a step to Pandoc, from there you can go straight to PDF if you like. Okay.